Whether Americans know it or not, the Reverend Sun Myung Moon is a force in their political lives. Therefore, everyone is one world that has uh, opposed the Reverend Moon. Therefore, now nobody can oppose me. Oppose me. Talking Reverend, talking country, that bad, vile, worst guy. I also want to thank her late husband, Reverend Moon, for founding the Washington Times, an organization for which I have tremendous respect and admiration. But some Americans are suspicious of Moon and question whether his political activities are in the interest of America. Uh, he was incredibly narcissistic and arrogant. Um, it was all about him and what he wanted. Uh, it was very judgmental. He was very hypocritical. He was a racist. He thought the Koreans were the master race. Reverend Moon also built up a substantial business empire for his church. Its portfolio includes the Washington Times, a hotel in New York, and businesses in both North and South Korea. Moon has that drilled into his converts, and it serves to control them. If they disobey Moon, if they leave the Unification Church, they will be possessed. Moon calls himself Reverend. His followers call him master, work for him without question, and do whatever he says. Moon and his money have become a force to be reckoned with. All we know is they are spending a great, great deal in this country. James Whalen was the editor and publisher of a Moon Finance newspaper, The Washington Times. Probably more an influence and in the obtaining of influence, of power, than of any organization I know of in this country. And that includes the AFL-CIO, that includes the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, that includes General Motors, that includes anybody. Where did all this cash come from? I believe mainly it's coming from Japan. Ja when Japanese leaders come in, they bring cash in, and basically they give to Reverend and Mrs. Moon. Some of Moon's contacts were far to the right of the Washington Times. In Japan, after the war, he'd met Ryoichi Sasakawa, a rich and powerful fascist. Another of Moon's Japanese contacts was Yoshio Kadama, an extreme right-winger with ties to the Japanese underworld. Kodama is reported as saying that the people say Mr. Moon is the Messiah. Well, that's fine, but Mr. Moon can't be the Messiah without me because I'm the man who supplies him with money. As political activities on behalf of conservative business interests became central to the unification movement. Kodama went on to become a leader of the Yakuza, or Organized Crime Syndicate of Japan. Kishi went on to become Japan's Prime Minister. All three men reportedly played key roles in the early days of the Moon organization. He spent time in a U.S. federal prison in the mid-80s for tax evasion. The church claims the prosecution was politically motivated. He's quoted as saying this, is that we want absolute control of the mind. And to me, that means brainwashing. His key strategy was, we will find some powerful man or some powerful organization, and we will find out what their agenda is, and then we will attend them and serve them, and eventually they'll come to recognize in us their greatest ally, and at that point, we then begin to be able to dictate to them. And the editors of the Washington Times uh, have told me that never once has the man with the vision interfered in the editorial policies of the Washington Times, Reverend Moon never tried to tell him what to say, who to endorse. From Dwight Eisenhower to Strom Thurmond to Richard Nixon, Moon has glad-handed and corresponded with an astonishing array of political figures. Moon and the Japanese poured cash into the World Anti-Communist League, which included neo-Nazis, fascists, and even death squad members from South America. A federal investigation into Moon's finances led to a 1982 trial on charges of conspiracy and filing false tax returns. I must tell you that I am innocent. As a convicted felon, Moon was sent to the Federal Correctional Institution in Danbury, Connecticut. During his 13 months in prison, he faded from public consciousness. Moon's aide, Bohee Park, led the charge. 
what if you are an agent of influence for Moscow here on Hill? If these things are true, then the government of the United States is itself in grave danger. America's very survival and the security of the free world are at stake. I cannot help but believe that you are being used as instrument of devil. You, yes, instrument of the devil. I said it. You else, who else would want to destroy a man of God but the devil? The committee uncovered evidence that the Moon Organization had systematically violated U.S. tax, immigration, banking, currency, and Foreign Agents Registration Act laws. It also detailed how the Korean CIA paid Moon to stage demonstrations at the United Nations and run a pro-South Korean propaganda effort. Michael Hirschman was the Fraser Committee's chief investigator. They determined uh, that their primary interest, at least in the United States at that time, was not religious at all. Uh, but was political. It was an attempt to gain uh, power and influence and authority. The Fraser Committee recommended that the White House form a task force to continue to investigate Moon. That never happened. By the time Ronald Reagan was inaugurated, the idea of investigating Sun Myung Moon's political activities was a dead issue. Ironically, with the revolution seemingly won, Traditional sources of money for conservative politics, such as direct mail fundraising, began to dry up. But Moon, a VIP guest at the inauguration, soon became a major funder of Washington's new conservative establishment. My father worked very hard to assist Ronald Reagan to be elected. And Ronald Reagan, under his presidency, led the largest military buildup in US history in the modern age. And as a result of that, strength of America and the power of America and the strength of American arms, the world saw peace, not war. And the Soviet Union collapsed. The Berlin Wall came down and we had peace. People know the truth. You, my friends at the Washington Times, have told it to them. <clears throat> Respected guest, Crown Washington DC. I established the Washington Times to fulfill God's despair's desire to save this world. Absolute sex is centered on God, and free sex is centered on Satan. History, historically, world literature and media have often stimulated free sex. But Whalen's wall of editorial independence was often breached. Moon himself gave direct instructions to the editors of who, in fact, calls the shots. Ultimately, Moon calls the shots. The Washington Times has become a Mooney newspaper. Moon wanted total control of the media, so there would be no independent uh, media with journalistic integrity. It would be a media totally loyal to Moon. After he left prison, it was celebrated by more than 1,700 clergy at this God and Freedom Banquet in Washington. Now, whether positively or negatively, America knows me, and it happened quickly. At least I have America's attention. Because of that, I will be able to tell the people the truth of God, the new revelation. The worst treatment America could give me is to ignore me. Now I can preach the truth. 